Well, I thought our girls came out today and played with uh, tremendous intensity from the opening tip. I mean, we were the aggressor, the attacker, uh, I thought for uh, pretty much the whole game. I thought to start the second half, we got back on our heels a little bit. And then after about the five minute mark of the second half, we went right back to what we did in the first half. Got tremendous contributions from a number of people. But I thought our intensity and how hard an effort we gave today is something that we need to continue with. And then looking at some of those players individually, Cherie Williams and Josie Schmidt finishing double figures with 10 points each, and uh, Gracie Gibbs getting 10 boards. Uh, those are pretty key contributors there for your team this afternoon. Well, two of those are my seniors. Uh, Cherie injected her into the starting lineup today. Uh, she's been gradually getting back from her knee injury, starting to play better and better and better. And I made the move today to put her in there. I thought she gave us great energy. I thought she gave us great energy in our game on Wednesday also and earned the right and deserved to be put in there. Uh, Josie gave us tremendous uh, production inside. Uh, she was a big presence defensively also with four blocks. Uh, so her point and rebounding total, and then, and then Grace, her energy on the boards. Uh, she hit some uh, big shots from us, uh, hit a big three uh, there in the second half and, and things. So uh, just our energy level uh, from start to end was tremendous today. And uh, as a team, out-rebounding Manchester 41-27 and more importantly finishing with 17 assists compared to only 14 turnovers, uh, you got to feel happy about that. Our concentration and focus today was the best all year, and that led to those numbers there. Uh, again, rebounding is, is primarily uh, effort, uh, going after it, uh, being determined, having an attitude of not allowing our opponents to get to it. I thought uh, our assist-to-turnover ratio today was tremendous. I thought the girls uh, stayed with what we, we needed to do to execute against Manchester. Manchester going into today was probably the hottest team in the league, playing as well as anyone. And to do what we did to a very, very good Manchester team uh, says a lot for my players, and I think hopefully that we can continue with that intensity and effort. And this game was obviously important uh, to stay in the hunt for a, for an HCAC tournament berth, but it was more important uh, in a different light uh, as the annual ninth annual pink game, um, the women's basketball program here at Rose Holman, uh, partnering with the Wabash Valley Breast Cancer Survivors Organization uh, to raise some money uh, to raise breast cancer awareness. Um, Coach, talk about what that means to you and also with you and your wife being cancer survivors yourself. It's got to be a pretty cool partnership. It is a tremendous partnership. Uh, my wife went through breast cancer. Uh, this organization was very instrumental in not only my, my wife, but uh, myself, our son, our family, uh, having a group there uh, helping us through that, uh, giving, it, giving us information, a support staff that was there. They've been a tremendous influence in our lives since then and will continue. This is just a small way of us having a day out here, bringing them out, uh, celebrating and honoring those that are able to come out, also recognizing and uh, remembering those that aren't with us uh, anymore. But it's a situation where my players have gotten to know a lot of the, the women that come out to this, have grown close to them love them to death and it's a tremendous thing for for that group to come out and be a part of today also